This is part two of reading a potential energy curve. So I hope you watched part one already. I'm just continuing on. It's just getting a little too long. I've redrawn the graphs a little bit nicer. So this is what they used to look like. And I wanted them bigger so we could point at them and stuff. So we were just saying that the if we had a point on ooh, ooh if we had a point on this graph, it could not move to the left of x1 because it can't borrow from kinetic energy. So another way to, if you want to visualize what the, what the particle is doing, um, if it was moving to the left, it would have to stop here. And if you look at x1, the force is positive. So then it would get pushed back to the right, and it would move back to the right. Okay, that's called that. Therefore, this is called a turning point because the particle turns around and goes the other way. Okay, so that's a turning point. Turning point. Okay. We also have some places called equilibrium points. And to discuss these, I need some other energies. So I'm going to I'm going to throw out some other ones in different colors. So let's say we had a particle that had a total energy of 4. Oops, come on. So this is its energy. And we're going to have another energy with a total of um let's see three or the one that just hit ah stop it just hits the top of the second peak and we're gonna have another one with an energy that sits let's see, down here in this little well okay it's three different particles where these lines represent their total energies okay three different particles and this is the maximum energy they have so remember they can't get out basically so we have this um this one with the orange let's talk about it first with the orange so um now the turning point is no longer at x1 now the turning point is somewhere between x1 and x2 it's it's right here so the particle if it was moving to the left, it would move to the left, move to the left, until it got to here, at which point it can't move left anymore, because to do that it would need more potential energy than it, the total energy it has. And the force is positive at that point, so it stops and gets pushed back the other way. Okay. Um, also, at any point to the right of x5, it can't get over there either. Okay, so we've got another... Um, another turning point here and notice it can't get any higher than this and it also at that point has a negative force so it would be pushed back the other way so this thing we this orange thing here we have a particle here that is basically doing this it's going woo, 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 back and forth okay um, Let's see. Okay, now let's look at this green line. We have turning points again, here and here. Just make them bigger. Turning point, turning point. But we've also got this funny little, it's just touching this hump. I want you to think about what you'd have here. If we placed a particle with green energy at x equals 3, at that point, its potential energy is exactly equal to its total energy, so the kinetic energy would be zero at that point, and at x equals three, the force is zero. So what we have is a stationary particle just sitting there. It's not doing anything. It's not being pushed. It's just hanging out. But if it was even given a tiniest little nudge in either direction, it would run away, because if it got a little tiny nudge to the right, then suddenly there is a positive force, so it's getting pushed even harder and harder and harder to the right. If it got even the tiniest little nudge to the left, same thing, that would be a negative force, so it would get pushed harder and harder and accelerate away. So if it gets nudged either way, it is going to zoom away. That is called an unstable equilibrium right there. Unstable equilibrium. It's at equilibrium because it has zero force on it. It's not moving. It's just hanging out. Equilibrium. 
Um, I don't know why I have trouble spelling that. Um, but if it even gets the tiniest little nudge, it is going to zoom away from that equilibrium so fast, it's gone. Okay. But what if it was... In, if we put a particle at x4, okay? I'm running out of colors. Um, but this funny slate color. Well, if we put a particle um, at x4 and it had this energy E right here, the, the pink one, I don't know if you could tell, but this actually would be the same as across from here. Meep. Okay. If we put in a particle at x4 with an energy pink energy, whatever the number that is, what I would have then is I would have all of my energy taken up by potential energy. So again, I would have kinetic equals zero. And if it got, if I gave it even a little tiny nudge, like a tiny, I don't know why I'd do this, but a little nudge either left or right. Well, if I give it a nudge to the right, it would be in a zone where the force was negative. So the force would push it back to the left, back where it was. It would try to return to its equilibrium position. If I gave it a little nudge to the left, um, same thing would happen, just the opposite. I would be in a zone with positives. So although it got nudged to the left, there would be a force suddenly pushing it to the right. So what you get here is this little um, if I put a particle here, it doesn't want to go leave its its position. It would it would stay there. That's called a stable equilibrium because if you give it a little nudge trying to shake it from its equilibrium, it just goes back. Okay. You can kind of think of it. Um, use the graph itself as an analogy. If I put a marble on top of a hill like this, the marble would stay there if it was perfectly balanced, but even a little, like, I blew on it too hard, I breathed on it too hard, I looked at it wrong, I don't know, somebody bumps the, bumps the table, something happens, and it's going to roll away. The marble's going to roll off that hill. Whereas if I put a marble in this ditch here, um, I can probably shake this thing pretty well, and it's just going to kind of roll back and forth in the ditch and not really go anywhere because it's stable, okay? Um, I didn't have one of these, but let's say I had a uh, another line of energy that was right, oops, oops, right on top. Come on. Oh, come on. Right on top of this thing here. If I put a marble here and gave a little nudge, nothing would push it anywhere because the force is zero. So I get, um, it's an equilibrium, but it just kind of hangs out, whatever. Uh, I could shake it around, it might move around, whatever. Notice the energy is still taken up by its potential energy, so technically the marble was not actually moving. It still has a total energy of blue <laughs> and all that's taken by potential so the kinetic is zero because the kinetic is zero it's not moving that would be called a neutral equilibrium and I can never spell neutral is it EU or, or UE I think it's EU neutral equilibrium we don't really deal with those very much really they're kind of boring we like these the ones that fall off and the ones that stay put Stable and unstable, or rather, stable and unstable. I think that's everything you need to know right now. Yeah, so we'll do some problems with this.